Hey guys, LuckyHD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the tweet that Lando made yesterday talking about a new special traded Lumion. In this video, we're going to be going over a couple theories on what I think that this Lumion could possibly be. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, like, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so if you saw the video that I actually uploaded yesterday and also saw Lando's tweet, he actually tweeted out something that said, We're still making progress on Atlantean City. Again, this is a very large city and a lot of new content, so we're not sure when it will be ready yet. However, we do plan to add a new Lumion to the game this weekend with some special traits. So of course, in today's video, we're going to be theorizing on what those specific special traits are. Alright, I have a bunch of theories that I actually want to go over in today's video, so of course, let's just jump straight into it. And the first of which is actually going to be a new Weather Lumion. Now, every single time we get a new Weather inside of Lumion Legacy, whether that be rain, whether that be wind, all of that stuff, we always get a new evolutionary line, okay? And I'm not saying that this weekend we're going to be getting a new weather, but I'm not saying that we aren't, okay? You know, that we could just be seeing a completely, you know, just like, I don't know, new thing for like fishing. I don't know, maybe fishing weather, something that happens underground, maybe like an earthquake or something. I, I don't know how an earthquake would fit into like fishing, but who knows, maybe like strong currents or whatever, you know, just a new thing in general, okay? And with this entire thing, you know, of course we would have a new Lumion. Now it would make sense, again, if we actually got a new weather to get a new Lumion as well. But I've been also seeing a bunch of theories talking about a new weather form Lumion that actually changes forms whenever a weather is present. So example being you go out and you know you're hunting during the rain, you would find the rain form of this Lumion. You would go and start hunting during the wind, you would find the wind form of this Lumion, or it could act like cast form and literally depending on whatever you know weather is going on at the moment, you would go out there and it would just change forms you know kind of just based on what weather it is currently and not like you go out and find it specifically. Now, whenever weather was actually first being introduced, I made a little bit of a concept of this entire thing, so I'll put that up on screen. Of course, the kind of sun, rain, wind, and I believe snow or hail form or, you know, something like that. So I think that this would be a really cool idea, but there is also the thing of, like, Lando didn't tweet out necessarily that we are going to be getting a new weather, right? You know, you would think, again, like, you know, he's done that for the rain and stuff. I don't know about the wind. I think, like, the wind was kind of just, like, a surprise thing. Maybe, possibly. But, you know, with this entire thing, again, being said... You would have thought that he would have put in like a little thing mentioning weather or something like that, right? But again, I still hold it as a possibility in the back of my mind. Alright, so our next topic is actually going to be something very interesting, and that is going to be a new Eeveelution like Lumion, okay? So inside of Pokemon, of course, there exists the Lumion Eevee, or no, Pokemon Eevee, and Eevee has a special thing to it, of course, that it can evolve into a bunch of different forms. Now, these forms each have their own specific stats, specific typings, and all that stuff, and actually, currently, I'm working on a Lumion that kind of bases around that, and I should upload a video on that soon. So stay tuned for that. Now, why do I actually bring up this entire Eevee thing? Well, number one, when you actually think of something with special traits, I mean, you know, you could say, you know, the entire weather thing, again, like I just mentioned, but I think what actually makes more sense is the entire concept of, again, a form-changing Lumion, because that is something with special traits. Now, t Bradham has gone on record to say that they actually want to do a Lumion like Eevee, but they just don't know what to do yet. And now I think is actually the perfect time to add a Lumion like this. Something like this would be really, really high demand, not in terms of trading, but but in terms of just people wanting a really cool Lumion like this, okay? There's not really any other Lumions. Again, maybe, you know, with the exception of, like, Twilight to Umbroar, you know, Luxrat and all that stuff. But, like, still, we need a Lumion that actually, you know, is number one, starts as a base typeless form, okay? Because Lord knows that we need typeless Lumions. We, we have literally, like, five typeless Lumions, I'm pretty sure. So at least adding another one onto the list would be something pretty good, okay? And then, of course, with that, we also get a bunch of new types of Lumions. Of course, if they actually, again, went the entire route of having an Eeveelution Lumion or something of the sorts, we would get at least one Lumion of, like, maybe five to eight different typings, okay? So we could see, like, an ancient type Lumion, a fire, water, grass, light, spirit, dark. Like, there's so many different and new typings inside of Lumion Legacy that they actually could toy around with and make something pretty cool out of it. So, yeah, that is my second theory, and I think it's honestly one of the most likely ones to actually come to the game. The next theory is actually this Lumion could possibly be a roaming, okay? I know it's a very, very unlikely thing to think about, but just kind of hear me out on this one, okay? Lumion Legacy is not really one for having side quests and stuff, and I think, you know, it's something that they probably want to do, but we haven't, again, really seen anything like a side quest in Lumion Legacy. Of course, you have the little things like the whole Gobademic thing, you go off, you know, go fight a Gobademic, and whoa, you get access to, like, this new special thing. But I'm talking about, like, a full little mini-adventure that you gotta go on to go find one Lumion, okay? And 
that would be maybe either a roaming, maybe even like a regular Lumion, okay? But just all in all, we need something like a side quest inside of Lumion Legacy. And I think, again, with this little update period, you know, kind of having like the Goppy Pond, and then we're waiting like two months, and then maybe a third month, you know, we're going on to Atlantean City. In the middle of that, we should at least have something to do like a side quest. You know, adding a Lumion to the game is fine and all, you know? I think it should hold people over, maybe possibly, you know, because of course you can hunt that stuff and, you know, can you do all that type of stuff, but, you know, just having something like a side quest would be even better, and it doesn't even have to be this giant extravagant thing where we have to go and, like, you know, this, like, enchanted forest with it, you know, it's all really, really detailed and all this. stuff. No, literally, you just add a forest or something like that, you just plop a bunch of trees down, make a little pathway, you know, do a little puzzle or something like that in there, and I would be, I would be happy with that, okay? I'd be happy with that as a little side quest update. We just need more stuff like that inside of Lumion Legacy with, you know, kind of a very special reward, okay? And when actually Lando goes out here and says that, you know, this Lumion has special traits, special traits could mean anything. This Lumion could have, like, a giant unicorn horn on it or something like that, and they could call that special traits, right? But, you know, also what special traits could mean is, you know, this Lumion can only be found via a new side quest that we added to the game, and that's its little special trait or something like that you know there's just a lot of different possibilities with this entire wording and stuff when actually lando tweeted this and honestly i also want to hear your guys thoughts about it down in the comments below all right, so for my final theory in this video, it is actually going to be about a new Ditto Lumion. Now, Ditto, it doesn't really have to be, like, necessarily Ditto. It could be Zora, because Zora also kind of sort of has, like, the same thing going on with it. But just a Lumion that can copy another Lumion in terms of appearance, in terms of, like, maybe, you know, when you're, like, breeding slash rallying, you know, stats and all that stuff, would be a must inside of Lumion Legacy. And t Brightham has gone on record and said that they want to do a Ditto-like Lumion. It's just that they don't know how or when to do it. Some more benefits of a Ditto-like Lumen coming to Lumen Legacy would also be if you found a Gleam or Gamma version of this Lumen, we could basically see what the new Lumen's Gleams and Gammas were before anybody even found them, okay? All you would have to do is be like, hey, can I borrow your little Gamma or Gleam, you know, little Ditto thing or whatever it's going to be called, and can I use it real quick for maybe like a video or something? People go, they use it, they go see what it looks like. Problem solved, okay? We still have yet to know what the Alpha Lightning Goppy and the Alpha Galaxy Goppy look like inside of Lumion Legacy, okay? It has been literally, I think, like a month or two since the only Gleam Goppy that like, actually found inside the pond has ever been found. That is the only one in existence, right? So having a ditto like Lumen come to the game, we would be able to see what the other ones would look like. So I think something like that would also be very beneficial, not only for like the community, but for like, I guess, content creators and all that stuff, and just people in general. You know, people want to see these new types of Lumens, these new like Gleam and Gamma forms and all that stuff. So again, it would be very helpful. So yeah, guys, that does it for today's video. This was definitely a very interesting topic and something that I wanted to talk about because, of course, whenever Lando does tweet out something like this, it definitely raises a lot of speculation for, you know, just new stuff coming to the game and all that. I mean, a Lumion with special traits, I mean, what could that be? So yeah, go down to the comments below. Also, let me know which of these theories that I mentioned in today's video was your favorite or, you know, kind of the one that you believe the most. And also, while you're down there in the comments below, let me know your theories on whatever, you know, kind of special traded Lumion is coming to the game this weekend. And yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.